Hey guys, we are looking at the inside of a Goodman or a Mana ASPT air handler. This is the blower relay that they are using now. Uh, they used to use a different type, but they had a lot of problems with it. Uh, it was on the ASPF air handler as well. This new air handler has a little bit of a clearness to it, like the icebox relay. But it's a double pole, double throw, but they're not using one of the poles on this particular machine. So let's take a closer look and we can look at the wiring diagram and see what it looks like on the schematic. You can find the schematic on the back of the controls compartment door on the ASPT. As you look at the relay in the picture, you'll see down at the bottom you have an A and B with a squiggly little line in between them. That is the coil for the relay. It is a 24 volt coil. All that means is once you have power to that coil, that your switching action will take place. And we'll go into that in a moment. You see a GR wire heading into the A. That is a green wire from the low voltage field connection. That wire is from the fan terminal on the thermostat. If you turn the thermostat to fan or to heat or cool for a heat pump, it will send that GR or green 24 volt to that A. On the B side, that is your commons, typically blue. If you look up to the top, you have a 1, 4, and 7. Your one wire is WH or your white from W for your heat strips or auxiliary heat. That can also be tied with your emergency heat as well. The 7 is a purple wire that is going to the blower speed tap. In this particular air handler you have a 1 through 5 tap, 24 volts, it is an X13 motor. You will just select which tap and then that selection will run back to this number 7 terminal on the relay. We also have a number 4 and that is a hot 24 volts coming from the transformer. So everything on this particular relay is 24 volts, there's no high voltage. And as you see, it only uses a single pole. It doesn't use both sides of the relay. It doesn't even include it in the drawing. So what we have, we have the 1, 4, and 7. So as you see between 1 and 7, you see that little equals mark with a slash to it. That means normally closed. If there's no power to the A and B from the GR or green wire, the 1 and 7 are closed. So that means if you were to turn on your emergency heat, you would have a low voltage 24 volt signal travel down the WH wire and then directly to the blower so the blower will come on if the heat strips are on. This is a little different tactic from their ARUF air handler which uses high voltage to do that but it will still do the same. The downside to this is if your sequencer is stuck it won't matter what control voltage you have uh, it will just rely on the limits to protect it. As you see we have our 4 from the transformer and we have our open little equal sign in between 4 and 7. Whenever the relay engages, that switch will close and you will have power sent directly from the transformer to the purple speed tap wire going to the terminal board for the blower. So basically if you have a call for heat or cool, power comes down that red wire, the switch closes when you have your coil energized and it gets sent directly to that terminal strip for the blower. If you have a call for the heat strips and you don't have a call for fan, then it will travel directly to the number one terminal, since it's normally closed, travel to number seven, and then out the purple wire to the speed tab. So it's just like a fail safe that's very similar to the six pin relays I've shown in the past, the infamous Goodman blower relay and the infamous Goodman blower relay strikes again are both videos on the Talon 875 channel, it's T-A-L-Y-N 875 same idea, just a little different uh, way of going about it. Uses low voltage instead.